Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little task that I want to try out. I haven't done this yet on this system but it should be straightforward. I say that and then it takes hours and hours and an end with trouble and difficulties. It's always like that. Um, so I have one of these tiny Lenovo machines uh, that I way long ago installed a Windows 7 on, a Danish version for my mechanic. They use the Danish version because Apparently mechanics, um, well, their priority was not language in school. <laughs> so they like the Danish version and Windows 7 because they use a lot of old stuff which um, works on Windows 7 and I can't be bothered to figure out how it works in Windows 10. So here is the machine and one of the issues that I run into trying to get this machine up and running in Windows 10 is um, there they are running some old financial software and it is long out of license and it can't be renewed and to get it working you have to set the date back to 1998 for it to work and um, well they used the, the little computer on active directory and with windows 7 you are allowed to set the date back to 1998 but if you install windows 10 on it Active Directory is not going to let you set back the date. So Windows 7 it is. <laughs> but today my issue is that I want to take the operating system of the disk in here. I, I could take one of the disks out of the other machines. They're over here and I could copy it directly onto the disk. But my idea is that I'll take this machine and I'll make a copy of the disk out to an external disk and then I can just replace the whole machine and copy it back to a new disk and uh, maybe that will work. That way I don't have to take the machines apart and swap disks all the time. So um, yeah, we're gonna try this. Um, I have my, um, my keychain here and I have installed, I think I have, a, the, I think I have FileZilla on here and FileZilla should be able to do this if I'm not much mistaken. Let's pop that in. Power on. There we are. Oh, it's fast. So, Falsilla, Falsilla, Falsilla. There we are. Oh, that looks nice. That wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, Falsilla second go. I don't know what happened the first time, but this time it looks better. Yeah, I think it's just the first one. Uh, something is happening. It's rather slow. But as long as it's doing something, uh, English, yeah, English will do. Uh, do we want to keep the keyboard layout? No, nope. I'm on a Danish keyboard. I don't know if it, so I can pick the keyboard that I'm on. Okay, that was not exactly what I had in mind. Please select the model of keyboard. Cancel. Okay, start class. Okay, I believe that is the first one that we need. We need to take the, the operating system in the computer and put it on that external disk that I have put on a, uh, with a, on a USB. Oh, mouse, whoa. Okay, top one is local drives. Then there's all kinds of funny shares. We are on local drives. Yeah, now we can put in the USB. We have already done that. So. It sees one drive and it sees another drive. Let's see, it's a flash drive, that's our USB. And then there is the internal drive inside. Mm, so maybe it doesn't see the external USB disk. It does not really do anything. We have to press Control C to get out of there again. Partition number four. Okay, so it actually does see some drives here. I think this one is the internal drive. That's probably a 60 gigabyte internal drive. That sounds about right. Samsung flash drive, Samsung flash drive. I don't think it sees my one terabyte drive. Hmm. Yeah, this is not gonna be as easy as first predicted. Okay, I um, I, I tried to, to go into the other computer and, and get rid of anything that was on this disk. And uh, yeah, at the moment, FileZilla don't want to start up at all. It just keeps 
doing the thing that it did the first time. So I thought that I would try this Acronis. So let's see, there is a 64-bit version here. Let's see what happens. At the moment, I just wanna at least make sure that it sees the drive. Okay. What do you wanna do? I wanna make a backup. Disk and partition backup. There. So we do not see our USB disk there at all. I'll try and change the spot where it's connected. Oh, now it lights up blue. And something new arrived. Maybe it just didn't like that port. The disk is empty. Okay. Okay, it died on me, but I found that well, tool and utilities, and I want to clone the disk. I think we will have to pick manual as we are in great difficulties. And it doesn't see the disks that we want to use. It only pops up when I... See, now we have three disks. So... Uh, Select the source drive. The source drive is the one that we're going to be copying from. And then select the target drive. That will be that one. So the top one is if we're going to be using the disk in this machine. Middle one is if we're going to be using the disk in another machine. And the bottom one is to mm, use as a data disk. Clone SD. Now it's the middle one. We're gonna next. Okay, the top one is if we want to keep the uh, size of the disk. Right now we are taking a copy of a 60 gigabyte disk, and we are copying that onto a one terabyte disk. But as I'm gonna be copying back to a 60 gigabyte or a 100 gigabyte disk, probably want to use the top one so that otherwise it will enlarge that disk onto this drive. And yeah, we'll just keep it as is and continue it's not gonna take up a lot of space on that disk sheet okay it's gonna be very interesting to see if this works okay it completed uh, so now i should probably try and put it in a new machine see if i can get that up and running so i added the machine i'm just checking if there is anything important on it and it says that there is no operating system so I'm going to try and uh, put the USB key in and the extra disk and see what happens. Let's see if it tries the USB key. Doesn't seem like it. It figures that out by itself. It's a Lenovo! Okay. Let's try that one again. Oh, so just maybe. It wasn't file seal that was failing, but just uh, inventory. I need to work better if I'm not as quick. So maybe I'm just too quick. If I select the menu point too fast, it will mess up on me. This is better, <laughs> even if there is nothing there. Because, yeah, it, it, it came. Okay, so uh, tool and utility. Clone disk manually. Next, do I have a two terabyte disk in that one? Yeah, we are most definitely not gonna be using that. Okay, okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, yeah, I have a two terabyte SSD in here, and I'm most definitely not gonna leave that in there. We're gonna replace it with this one, which is 128 gigabytes. Um, I can't remember what I've used this for, but we are not going to be using it with a 2 terabyte. Those are a bit too expensive. They are available in my shop if you uh, if you need one. So removing that disc and putting in another one. They have these very big screws underneath here. And there are some... <laughs> yeah. Now these are SSDs, so that it's really not needed. But there is shop shock absorbent uh, rubber in there so 
There is 8 gigabytes of RAM in this machine. <laughs> and the new drive that I put in, apparently I have installed ESXi 7.00 on that. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking that out again. Well, we can see the processor. There is an i3 4130T in there. So sometimes this takes a while and I've, I've got into it now, but let's just uh, start it over and you will see that um, it doesn't automatically start on the USB key. It just wanna start ESXi right away. And I couldn't remember, but it's F12 um, to control the start menu. So let's just see that. And I wasn't quick enough. There, we get the start menu. So. The hard drive is the first one. I could probably just have changed that, but if I uh, select the uh, the second one is the USB hard drive. So if we pick that one and Wi-Fi, it um, it goes there. So I guess we're good to go. And I'm gonna wait a little bit because um, I found that if I'm very quick, it's um, it messes up. There, now it looks normal. And it uh, doesn't see our new drive. Uh, I don't know. Every time it seems that it will only see that drive if I take it out and put it back in again. Let's cancel that and let's try again. Let's see if it sees it now. It's lighting up blue over there. So, yeah, now it's there. <laughs> Weird as heck. So now we can select that uh, drive. Target drive. Yes. And then we need to select the right one for our... Oh, sorry, I selected our source drive and now I'm selecting our target drive. Uh, you can see the hard drive and the flash drive is almost the same size. So it's very important that I pick the right one, otherwise I'll delete my, my USB key. Uh, I hope I hope it's able to delete all those weird partitions that are on here. Hmm. The destination drive has some weird partitions. Okay, it didn't say that. Click OK to confirm deletion. Yes, we are gonna delete those. And then we are gonna place the disk on this machine. Okay, we're gonna try and pick that one. And then we're gonna resize it this time to actually fit to the drive that it's going to be put on. So now I'm going to take that 60 gigabyte partition and extract it so that it's going to take up 128 gigabyte if everything goes as planned. So before and after, let's see if it works. <laughs> this is, this is never going to work. It's done. Um, yeah, I'm surprised if this works the first time, I must admit. Let's shut it down. Oh dear, it works the first time. I did not expect that. Hmm. Wow. Well does want to reboot. Windows probably had some settings. It realized that, oh, I'm a new computer. I need to do some stuff. Like better resolution. And it has used all the drive. Let's see if it has all the, the drivers for all the stuff. Okay, something is missing, I guess. High definition audio controller. Okay. Management engineer interface. So 
it has a has an issue or two. So, okay, now that's minor issues. Okay, so this worked in the end. I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting it to. Um, I don't know why, but well, it usually uh, takes more work than this. Uh, even though I could probably have gotten it working with the file sealer, it was just um, the magic weird problem of this only showing up if I unplugged it and plugged it back in. Weird as heck. So um, yeah, I'd like to uh, give a big thank you to my patrons in this video. That's been a long time. So uh, if you don't know, I'm available on Patreon where I do a weekly video. Uh, today is Sunday when I'm recording this. So on Sundays I record a, um, a very direct and one take uh, video that I post only on Patreon. Well, sometimes I promote it other places, but only to promote Patreon. So uh, I'm gonna be doing that video. It's called a WhatsApp video and it tells the patrons what I've been up to this weekend, which is gonna be including this project. And then when that video is done and have been uploaded, I hang out on Discord with the patrons. So if you wanna come have a chat and hang out on video chat on Discord, with the, the other patrons, well, you're very welcome. Uh, link is in the description and it's not very expensive. It's just $1 for the Discord thing. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.